The police are a must-have position in all detective dramas. Although most of the time in the shows, their working capabilities are not as good as a few children, they also act as one of the most important background subjects to highlight the protagonist. In Detective Conan, some high-ranking police officers may have deduction skills that even exceed the protagonists. So in this video, I'll analyze the Japanese police system and hierarchy through Detective Conan, and introduce the rankings of the police officers that appear within Detective Conan. If you don't understand how the Japanese police rankings work, then you can compare these charts with the American systems. First of all is to introduce the starting three rankings, police officer, senior police officer, and sergeant. These three positions account for 60% of Japan's 300,000 police officers, which can be said to be the basic level of the entire Japanese police force. Most people at the police officer stage have to accumulate work experience to be promoted to sergeant. If a police officer has not been promoted to sergeant after 10 years, then they will be promoted to senior police officer. By the way, the current Detective Conan don't have police positions of police officer or senior police officer. After all, they've been working in our timeline for more than 20 years, and the lowest rank is sergeant. However, the characters in Koji Kame have been working for around 40 years, and their police ranks still stay at these two levels. Next is Sergeant. In Detective Conan, out of a lot of characters, there are 7 with this police rank. But among them, 3 have already passed away in the line of duty. First of all, we have Detective Takagi and Chiba. These two are already familiar characters, but I wonder who they are subordinates under. Nominally, they are Meguri's subordinates, but they always listen to Mori and Conan. Uehara Yui, the police detective of Nagano Prefecture. Nayako Miyake, unlike the previous three, is a traffic police officer in the traffic department, and she is a childhood friend of Chiba. Regarding this character, I just want to ask, is it just me or anyone else who thought she was the female version of Kuro Shinichi when they first saw this character debut? Finally, there are the three sergeants who have been killed in the line of duty. Jinpei Matsuda, Sato's first love, appraised by the author of Detective Conan as the most handsome male character. Three years ago, he was killed by a bomb, and his colleague, Kenji Hagiwara, who was also a sergeant, was killed seven years ago by the same bomb crime. And Wataru Date, who was Detective Takagi Sr., died in a car accident a year ago. Above these three police ranks is Inspector. 30% of the Japanese police have this rank, and this rank is owned by three characters in Detective Conan. Sato and Yumi Miyamato belong to this rank. In addition to them, there is also an original character from a movie with this police rank, Yuya Kazami, whose first appearance was in The Darkest Nightmare, and he's also a subordinate to Furuya Rei. Above Inspector is Police Chief Inspector. In the entire Japanese police force, only 5-6% to of the police have this rank. But in Detective Conan, the people having this rank is the most, with a total of 12 people. The most familiar characters we know among them are Juzo Meguri and Ninzaburo Shiratori. That's right, the two of them are in the same police rank. Here, I need to remind you that Japan is a country that attaches great importance to experience and qualifications. Just like in other Japanese anime, you can often see those freshmen who have just entered high school call those senior students senpai, and will be very respectful when talking to them. This point remains the same in the police force. Although Juzo Meguri and Ninzaburo Shiratori are in the same police rank, Meguri has stayed in this police rank longer and is older than Shiratori. So there's always a feeling that Shiratori obeys Meguri's orders. On the other hand, many viewers may have a question, which is the fact that Meguri is already in his 40s and has solved so many cases under Conan's help. Why didn't he get promoted yet? This is because determining a police rank is not only about age, but there's also another standard, which is the civil service examination. Under normal circumstances, after graduating from university, they will take the civil service examination. According to the type of examination, the police officers will be divided into three categories. The first category is the non-career group for those who've passed local examinations. They basically started as a police officer and at most became assistant commissioner. While of the quasi-career group are those who've participated in the second type of examination, starting with sergeants and at most becoming commissioner. These two types of police officers are seen most often within Detective Conan. After passing the exam, they have to go to their local police academy to study for two years. And after they reach an age where they could promote the rank, they still have to take another exam. The last one is the career group. After passing the professional exams, they will enter the National Police Agency's police university to continue their studies, and they start off with the police rank of inspector. To add on, when their rank gets promoted, they don't need to take an exam. This is also why Shiratori is the same age as Sato, but his police rank is the same as Meguri's. This is because he is of the career group, with only a few thousand elites out of the 300,000 police officers, as well as his family background being very strong. You know, the protagonist of Japanese anime often find themselves in this situation. Your father is Hokage, your father's friend is Kazekage, your grandfather is Hokage, your father's teacher is Hokage, in your father's previous life he was still Hokage, and the younger brother of your father's previous life is still also Hokage. These kinds of children who are impressive, but their fathers being more impressive is a very common situation within Detective Conan. Almost all the characters have strong backgrounds. It's like what Haibata said before.
However, a police officer with a strong family background is really important. Sometimes in the movies, when the police intend to investigate those in power, she thought that he will be sent so as to prevent those in power from retaliating against the police. On the other hand, Megari is not of the career group, and he's already the first division's leader, which also means that it will take longer if he wants to be promoted. Also as a member of the career group, as well as being police chief inspector, are two people, fully model Ayana Koji, who is known as Inspector Squirrel. He and Shiratori are classmates, with a police rank of police chief inspector. In other words, meaning he's also of the career group, and his deduction ability has even been acknowledged by Konan. By the way, Fura Yare is also of the career group, and according to his age, his police rank is at least police chief inspector. But his position is a bit peculiar, and there may be some plot holes, so I'll talk about it later. Here's a question, who is the youngest of the career group? It's Misao Yamamura. Yes, I know y'all may have a lot of questions, but according to the information I've collected, he really is an elite within the police force. When he first debuted, he was still just a rookie, but up until now, his police rank is already police chief inspector, and his age is only 26 years old, being 2 years younger than Shiratori, so he's definitely of the career group. The reason why he was promoted so quickly is because of the Detective Conan movie, The Raven Chaser. Because in this movie, the police in various regions are required to conduct a joint investigation, and among all the prefecture's police officers who appeared in the anime, only his police rank was not high enough to participate in this investigation. So as a result, he was promoted to police chief inspector. This guy seems to be super lucky and is a bit of a fool, but I think this character is definitely not an ordinary character. First of all, because he is in the same career group as Furiyare, and then there are the two people he admires, Kuro Yukiko and Mori Kogoro, who are closely related to Konan. The most important point is that in Detective Conan episode 375, he deliberately calls his grandmother in front of Conan, and the beginning sound of the buttons was the same as that of the ringtone from Boss Karasuma of the Black Organization. This directly let Conan know that the location of the boss of the Black Organization may be somewhere in Totori Prefecture. But this video is to discuss the Japanese police system and not about the clues of the Black Organization. So now I'll return to the topic and talk about the other Japanese police chief inspectors. Takaaki Morofushi and Yamamoto Kansuki. In fact, Morofushi can also be of the career group, but in order to compete fairly with Kansuki, he didn't take the career group exam, but instead started with him at the basic level. Otherwise, he would have been a superintendent or even an assistant commissioner. But if he actually did take the exam, had been of the career group, and got transferred to Tokyo, then Meguri and the others wouldn't need Konan. Ginzo Nakamori, known to be the father-in-law of Kaito Kid. Some people may have some misunderstandings about the scope of his work, but let me first explain here that Inspector Nakamori is not actually dealing with theft cases. He is the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department Division 2 inspector, specializing in handling high-tech crimes. Thus, Kid's actions are classified as high-tech crimes, while Inspector Momose of Division 3 manages the theft cases. Also serving as the police chief inspector is Goro Otaki of Osaka. Inspector Yumanaga belongs to the arson section of CI Division 1. And finally is Sango Yokimizo and Jugo Yokimizo, these two brothers in the same police rank. Next is the fifth rank of the Japanese police hierarchy, Superintendent. The number of police officers who can reach this rank only accounts for 2-3% to of the Japanese police force, and only 4 have appeared in Detective Konan. The first being Shintaro Chaki, a junior of Jirokichi Suzuki in university, and also the boss of Inspector Nakamori. Toji Samazaki, the boss of Mori Kogoro when he was still a police officer, retired 2 years ago. Superintendent Morimura and Kiyonaga Matsumoto are good friends and also Inspector Meguri's predecessors. He died in a car accident 20 years ago and was posthumously named superintendent. The last one is Hioe Kuroda. Although he's a superintendent, his position in the police force is as peculiar as Furuyare's, and I'll analyze it later. By the way, if Mori Kogoro didn't resign back then, based on his grades in the police academy, the number of superintendents appearing in Tetsu Konan would be 5. Then there's Assistant Commissioner. This rank has almost disappeared from the beginning hierarchy of the non-career group because it's almost impossible to get promoted to this level. The rest are the quasi-career group and the career group. Therefore, compared to the other police ranks, there are very few policemen with this badge who've appeared in Tetsu Konan, numbering only 3, and one of them has died in the line of duty. One of these two people is the person I just mentioned before, Kiyonaga Matsumoto. When he first debuted, he was just a superintendent, but because his cast voice, Seizo Kato, died in 2014, in the anime, he was promoted to assistant commissioner and also transferred away from Tokyo. This means that afterwards, his character will never appear again, and his position in Tokyo was replaced by Hioe Kuroda. Tarayoshi Uno appeared in the movie The Lost Ship in the Sky. Sato Masayoshi, who was Sato's father, was killed in a car accident 18 years ago, just like Morimura. After his death, his badge was directly posthumously promoted from police chief inspector to assistant commissioner. And the third among the nine big ranks is Commissioner. The number of assistant commissioners plus commissioners in all of Japan is only 589 people. In this rank, there are basically only those of the career group. And in Detective Conan, only two have appeared. Toshiro Oragiri, who made his debut in the Conan movie, Captured in Her Eyes, and was Morikogoro's former boss. 
Since he has such a high ranking police badge, it proves that his capability is very powerful. He is an expert at using swords, and his behavior is seriously earnest. He is also one of the few police officers who is respected by Conan, and is an officer that even sees through Conan's deduction ability. But it is a pity that his son is too useless. And the other commissioner is Ginshiro Toyama, who is Kazuha's father and also a friend and subordinate of Heiji's father. Compared to Toshiro, he's more of an easygoing person and dearly loves his daughter very much. The second ranked class is Senior Commissioner. This badge is owned by only 20 people. This position is divided into Deputy Superintendent General and every Prefectural Police's Superintendent Supervisor. In Detective Conan, I found only two people who have this position. One is Heizo Hattori, who is Osaka Prefectural Police's Superintendent Supervisor. Heiji Hattori's father is also one of the few people who have the strongest deduction ability in Detective Conan. And as the Deputy Superintendent General, Toshio Moroboshi, his only appearance was in the Detective Conan movie, The Phantom of Baker Street. He's also the grandfather of Hideki Moroboshi, one of the main characters in that movie. The last and most major rank is the Superintendent General, the chief of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. Out of the 300,000 Japanese police officers, only one of them can enjoy this glory, General Hakuba. His full name has never even appeared before. The only thing I do know is that he's the father of Sagura Hakuba, and he's the highest point of the entire Japanese police force. However, he has debuted in Magic Kaito. He doesn't seem to be as imposing as the other people with high-ranking police badges. Instead, he's more like a funny character. It doesn't feel like he's Nakamori's boss. Instead, it feels like he's his friend. But I believe that a character that can obtain this high ranking of a police badge is definitely not a simple person. In fact, in addition to these 9 ranks, there is actually another called the National Police Agency, which is a central administrative agency of the entire Japanese police force that would directly supervise and order the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department and indirectly supervise police headquarters in other regions. And the highest officer of the National Police Agency is called the Commissioner General. Hiyoi Koreda also came from this organization, but his position at the National Police Agency has not yet been mentioned in the manga. And because the National Police Agency is not specifically mentioned in Detective Conan, there's no need for such a detailed introduction. Instead, let's shift and analyze the peculiarities of Furi Erei, as well as some plot holes. Both he and Hiyoe Kurada are from the National Police Agency, and in Zero the Enforcer, Furi Erei obeys Hiyoe Kurada's orders. Hiyoe Kurada calls Furi Erei bourbon, and Hiyoe Kurada may be Furi Erei's boss in the National Police Agency. We already know that Furi Erei is also called Zero, and the information he receives must be handed over to a superior, Cap. But if Hyoe Kodada is Cap, then there are some points that don't line up. Because if you want to become Cap, you must be of the career group and with a police badge of assistant commissioner. But Hyoe Kodada's police badge is only superintendent. So based on his reasoning, there are three possibilities for his identity. The first is for the purpose of hiding his identity and police badge for the purpose of investigating the black organization. Second, his identity is not Cap, but the same as Furio Rei's, Zero. The last possibility is what happened when he was in a coma for 10 years, like changing his identity with someone else. Because of the 10 years of blankness, burn marks, and white hair, no one will doubt whether he's really Hyoe Kodada. At the end of this video, let's talk about Furio Rei again for a little bit. This person who works 3 different jobs and earns 3 different salaries. His police badge has never been mentioned in the manga, but according to him being of the career group as well as his age, he's probably between police chief inspector and superintendent. But this would be very strange, because I said before that those of the career group have to study at the police university of the National Police Agency after taking the exam. Instead, those not of the career group would have to go to their local police academy to study. So how could he study at the same police academy as Jinpei Matsuda? According to the Japanese police system, Furia Rei, Jinpei Matsuda, Hiromitsu Morofushi, Watari Date, and Kenji Hagiwara are five individuals who can't study at the same police academy and can't be trained together. However, there is another possibility about Furia Rei's identity. That is, when Furia Rei was still in police university, he was scouted by high-ranking police officers, and in order to let him do some special work, it's possible to hide his identity and send him to other schools to study. But there's still another plot hole. Jinpei Matsuda's dream was to be a superintendent general, and according to his age of 26 years, as well as his initial police rank of sergeant, he can't be of the career group and at most can become commissioner. On the other hand, in the manga, they participated in training at the age of 22 from March to August, and Kenji Hagiwara died on November 7th of the same year. It's impossible for the Japanese police to let two new recruits who've just received training participate in such an important task such as bomb diffusion. In any case, I hope Gosho Ayama can explain these background settings in the future and enhance the capabilities of the Tokyo police. While it's true that Tokyo is the most important area in Japan, the police capability here, compared to other areas, is almost the lowest. Now I'll do a final sorting of these ranks, and if I've forgotten any police officers, please let me know through the comments below.